They get enough food rations in a month to last them about 10 days. Right now we are entering one area that is considered East Havana. 
Okay, and you can see some facilities around here that were built uh, early in the 90s to support the Pan American Games that were held here in uh, our island. So we have the stadium is going on your right, and on your left there are some other facilities like the pools, trucks, and so on. That is like over 90 Fahrenheit. Humidity is pretty high, over 98% during summer. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just see that rust color where it is. But anyway, you're going to find many that are still using the original engine and the original parts. <laughs> He's been with him, with this car, all his lifetime. Yeah, you can hear it all the Nino, gracias por todo, mi hermano.
outside of that area. Buildings, they look pretty old. Some of them are like crumbling down. But I have to say, this area around here is pretty damaged, not only because of the rocks that we pass of the huh? time, it's but also apart. because it's pretty close to the ocean, you know. Um, so the uh -oh. wind carries the, the salt that they roll the frame of the buildings. <laughs> in our country, we always say that we only oh, have look two at that. seasons. Here you can see some rural people, scholars, students of your high school. People hanging their holding on the balconies and so on. Over here in this corner you can see the places where you can use the Russian uh, card. Okay? That one down the corner and that other one on your right. Oh, this is you the grocery store. See the eggs? Those are the places yeah. where you can go with that card and get food. Oh. Get the food. Yeah. Look at there's old, what's his name right there? Fidel. Castro? They are open Batista. every single day from 8 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. or less. I want to relive it. I said to some of you that 95% of the Cuban people own their houses. So we do not pay uh, rent, we do not pay mortgage, something like that. We own our houses. But anyway, it doesn't mean that it is a very, let's say, romantic topic. <laughs> the person in charge is waiting for us, right there. And uh, those who are hungry, just follow me. We have to cross the street to the other side. Okay, of course that you can leave your stuff inside the box. You don't need to take your receivers. Okay, this is a fancy restaurant we're going to go eat in. Place. <laughs> 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 
It doesn't have much curb appeal. <laughs> <laughs> It's like watching one of those New Jersey or New York movies where they live stories up. Sorry. Good afternoon, sir. Hi. How you doing? Great. You want to sit here? Okay. There you go. I'm not working the electric lab wire. Architecture. 
Buildings from 16th century, 18 holders. Austin. And this area over here, the promenade, Westway started in 1902. It is like three miles and a half long. It goes from Old Havana up to the end of the Dado neighborhood. Malecon, exactly what we call Malecon. Um, for the Cuban people, it's like the largest house that we have in there, or the cheapest night show in Cuba. If you don't have money to go to a fancy place, just grab a bunch of friends, go to a hall, don't come here, believe me, you will enjoy a lot. Over here, the sunset is so beautiful. If you see, if you drink that full bottle of rum, believe me, you will stay there in the sunrise with your friends. I used to swim over there. It's not allowed, you know, but I used to do that. I have to say that it was so very good memories related with that. After school, you go to friends, go to the Malecon area. Uh, so the beaches are a little bit far away from here. By eight miles away, more or less. So I always were too comfortable to go there quickly. Because my parents didn't know about it. <laughs> so imagine. <laughs> and you can also see on your on your right so every a hotel after coming. school and then build parents. They're building a hotel there. Every place where oh. you see cranes, oh, maybe because they're building a hotel. There is another one over there. At the end of the older promenade that is one of the oldest one in our country, Prado Promenade. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of years ago it was crazy. We didn't have the place to to Accommodation of first people that were coming to the island. That's why we are building too many hotels. So, where, where are we going to do? The next step is going to be our walking tour in Omaha. So, we're going to visit three of the main squares of that place. The Cathedral Square is going to be the first one. A couple of blocks or three blocks away from there, we are going to find the Fountain Square, which is the Arms Square. And like two blocks away from there, we are going to get to San Francisco of the Square. Where the noise studio is going to be where it's all located. Okay? After that, we are going to go back to the Trumper Box and we will go to uh, the marketplace. Okay? That's the plan. So what are we are you going to do? If you don't have water with you we are going to give you a bottle, okay, over here. Uh, put some, some block, because that is going to be an outdoor activity. So there you also will find some people, as this is very touristy area. It was pretty safe, okay, I think that is one of our most important achievements. You don't have to take all the staff with you. If there is anything that you will need it for this walking tour, please take it, take it in for a good review. Okay, that is going to be important. Then you will find some people, maybe some like women, ladies, waiting like in the old times, you know. And if you take a picture with them, they expect the tip. Like a one or two Cuban commercials. I'm not saying to you not to do that. You can do it. Okay, you can take a picture of you wanna and so on, but remember that at the end they will expect I will give some other guys there that will show you like a drawing or a caricature or something like that that is going to be you because they are going to be painting you next to you. If you take that piece of paper, that caricature they also spend it. It's going to be gentle enough if you don't want to say that to say no gracias. We'll put that for me. No gracias. No gracias. You are the best students I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so just remember that. But if you want to take that with you and uh, say thank you very much, just remember that they also spend it. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to be walking also on cobblestone. It's not going to be 
as uncomfortable as uh, Trinidad.